All right, so today I'm gonna to show you guys the best Chrome plugins for SEOs. Well, I wouldn't say the best, but just the ones I use on a daily basis, and I'll just go over why. So the retention on creatine first is about, I think it's like 15% higher if I do the creatine in the beginning. So numbers don't lie, guys. Just gotta do it, just gotta do it, here we go. Mm -hmm. Let's go. In the interest of time, I'm just gonna show you the top five and then I'll just go through each one and why I like them. Uh, first up, we just have no follow. It's like a nice and easy Chrome plugin that I've had for the last 10 years. It just shows which links are no follow. And the way they show it is if you just go into your backlink profile, um, I'm just using this as an example, sort by no follow. And that just opened up apartment therapy for far and away. And then you'll notice this Chrome plugin automatically puts this re really weird uh, red uh, box around the link. And that's just an indicator that's a no follow link. Um, yeah, simple as that. All right, the second one is probably my most recent addition to the squad. Um, it's called the Detailed SEO Extension. It's by Glenn Aesop. It's from... It's the Viper Trail guy, you know? Um, and yeah, what it does is if you just click on it, it just shows you everything you need to know about a page. And uh, I, I primarily use the overview to see the title, description. Uh, canonical is very useful as well. I like the word count, um, index, uh, and the robots tag. And uh, besides that, the other thing I use is headings. So just to make sure the headings is in order because the most common issue I see with WordPress site um, for some reason, some run, random ass themes, they put the title as H2 sometimes. So you just got to go in and fix that, you know? All right, next up, we have the link grabber. Uh, what it does is it shows you all the outbound links from a certain page. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. And the way I use it is it's for my link building agency. So when people uh, purchase links or if I see there's a link on a certain page, I try to find it. And this is how I do it. So if I just sort through and I just pick one of these, you know, Zach.com. I want to find where exactly my link is because I, I can't find it. There's so many, right? You can see the anchor, but I can't find it. You can search and replace, but then sometimes you just want to make sure, right? So you click it open. And you're like, wow, that's a lot of outbound links from a single page. How do I find mine? So you hide same host name. Boom. And then you see all the outbound links and boom, far away is right there as well as I think five other or four other sites. Um, that, that's how I find it. It's a uh, really useful, you can also group by domain just so they sort it for you. Uh, block links, you know, there's duplicate links as well. Um, yeah, it's just a nice and easy free plugin that I've been, uh, using for, I think this is the last five years I've been using it. It's a good one. So I'm not sure if the ones I've been using so far besides detailed are quite popular. I do know the most popular one on the list is keywords everywhere. What it, what it does is when you search, uh, it shows you search volumes for the uh, respective keyword as, as, as well as related searches. So this is just good for like keyword research, you know? Um, I think a lot of people, they overcomplicate keyword research. I think with keywords everywhere, you can replace it. If you're on a budget, you don't really need Ahrefs and you can just use keywords everywhere for keyword research. And it's very cheap. I think it's like a dollar a month or something like that. Right, worth noting, keywords everywhere works in Search Console like Google Search Console, as well as ChatGBT. So it's kind of like a jack of all trades. It's one of my favorite uh, beginner tools. And it's just like a must have. For my last extension is actually, uh, it's a design one, but I still like it. Um, <clears throat> I use it to find the exact color codes for certain websites. For example, um, I love to copy wire cutter. I'm like, wow, that, that blue is so sharp. I want to use that exactly on my page. So I just go and do eye, eyedropper, pick a color from the web page, hover over it, click, and then you have the hex code of it. And then you can just copy it. Um, that's it. It's relatively simple. It's free. Uh, you don't have to use this. I like it. Uh, you could probably figure out another way to do it. There's probably better ways. I'm just an old guy who's stuck in his ways. All right, that's it for the tip of the day today, guys. Um, we are at minute 4.52, and 
if you've watched up to here, do you mind just commenting uh, SEO, sorry, Chrome extensions for SEO, please, just for the YouTube algorithm. And uh, yeah, now I'll go through the revenue update as well as answer your questions for a previous episode. So um, stay tuned. Guys, if the retention for this video drops, I'm going to have to do my revenue update in the beginning, the tip at the end, just because, guys, what you s ask for, which is no creatine in the beginning, results in shittier retention. So I can't, can't do it. All right. Can't do it. Oh, yo, I did want to mention since I tried to uh, crowdsource deals yesterday for rank and rent. Um, my DMS have blown up and a lot of questions asking exactly how it works. How it works is I have a really, I have multiple really strong domains and, uh, yeah, we're looking to partner up in any way possible. So what that means is I can rank for best Vancouver lawyer, best New York lawyer, best New York plastic surgeon, so on and so forth with one of my parasites. And we're going to, we're looking to charge a monthly, uh, like monthly rank and rent fee. So if you have clients people, you know, let's work together, refer them to me. I'll give you up to 20% lifetime recurring, uh, rev share and it'll be as easy as that. All right. So yesterday I made $10,480 that split between media vine at about 4,000 Amazon at about 5,300 only fans at about 650. And sell health and fan fuel, you know, two to 300 each. All right. So how I came up to the number is, well, I just took yesterday's number and, you know, added a bit. So 5,300 yesterday, not too hard. Um, numbers recently have been pretty good. I think it will die down in the next week or so. So I think we're going to still have another solid week and then Christmas hits and we're going to get clapped. And then into the new year, we're going to get clapped even harder because no one's shopping. All right. Yesterday's video, actually 20% of you are not subscribed, but um, that's actually pretty good. So um, if you're not subscribed yet, do you mind just subscribing to the channel? It keeps the channel going. Um, as well as comment a question on if you have any questions on today's video and I'll get to it right now. Um, so your questions. Number one, dude, this guy has been consistently first commenter killing it. Thorsten, what's going on? Scoop first, keep up the good word and thank you for today's education. You're welcome. Big thanks for this. Thank you guys. Thanks for the comments. Really appreciate it. Two questions. Let's go. Um, what's your favorite article structure for an affiliate article? Favorite article structure goes like H2, which is your target similar, like paraphrase target keyword. For example, if it's best VP in Canada, I do like top VPN for Canadians. Does that make sense? And then I'll, I'll list immediately the first top three, uh, just like boom, 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 Nord VPN, express VPN, uh, Surfshark VPN. Um, and then best for, I don't know, budget best for speed, so on and so forth. Uh, and, and then, then I'll list like the top 10, uh, or something like that. I hope that answers your question. It's kind of a messy, um, but yeah, should be fine. Should I link to exact product page or a search page for my, for my affiliate article? I guess you're talking about an Amazon article, a uh, definite 100% exact product page. Um, creatine was your hook. Use it as a quick, consistent intro where you give your quick thoughts or crazy thing that happened. Trust. I got you. Don't worry. I'm we're, we're we're testing here. All right. We're testing. Um, can you do a video on how to increase domain authority? Sick of our DR 20. That is just a vanity metric, but the reason why I use it is because it's just a quick indicator. It's like how BMI isn't the end all be all indicator of, of like fatness, but it's just like a quick way of, uh, showing, you know, does that make sense? Uh, so maybe focus on if, but if you actually want to just manipulate your DR and get it high, what you need is homepage backlinks. Um, and there's like certain PBN sellers that do that. So you can probably do it. Could have swore towing and locksmith niche and a few others got locked down and Google made people verify their business. Yes. But, uh, what we're doing is slightly different. We're the directory, right? So we're the organic result. We're not the local SEO, um, results. I hope that answers your question. John says, basically, if we're saying if we can close SEO deals, then you'll basically partner up and do the back end and rank the site. No, no. It's more like if you can, if you already have a client in, let's say a locksmith, like he's a locksmith in Austin, 
I can go out and write an article for like best locksmith Austin, rank it like top, I don't know, top three, and then rank rent it to you or your client for like five hundred dollars a month. Um, hope that hope that answers your question. Jackie, can you list some free and less verification citation websites? Um, that is not something I deal with. Just buy the Fiverr gig from the other episode. It's like five dollars. Um, Marcus says local rank and rent riches. Uh, niches, riches. Couple questions, if you don't mind. Of course, I don't mind. Marcus, you've been showing up every day. Are you seeing any ranking boost or protection from having Google Ads somewhere on the page? Uh, no, no. Are you going to test your podcast dude's advanced schema tactics? No. Um, can't be bothered. I, I, I don't think schema is part of the eighty twenty. You know, like the twenty percent of work does eighty percent of the revenue. Um, I think. That would be just trying to onboard more clients at this point for me or more partners. Sorry. Herc Page, who has been every here every day, says when you structure rank and rent deals as accountants who offer retainer services, do you calculate customer lifetime value and come up with a lead price that way? Uh, when I work with rank and rent, it's typically flat. We don't do performance multipliers. I would imagine that once an account gets a client, they often stay for years. So yeah, there's a couple ways for you to do it, but it, most of them require transparency with your partner. So probably need to find someone you trust. That's why I like to work with friends who are service providers. Niches for rank and rent, no worries. Let's go. Perfect. Um, great comments today, guys. Uh, great engagement. This is really good. Um, there's a guy on Twitter that starts up remote home service stuff, tree service, for example, from the ground up. He has really dialed in process, how to get businesses off the ground and rounding. This is great. Um, now your average YouTube watcher. Can you DM me on Twitter and tell me his uh, profile? Would love to partner up as like a case study. You know, for me, it's not like this is obviously these ranking rents aren't about the money anymore. It's just like I'll be doing everything in public, right? So. Thank you. Thank you. Go back to the creatine and the other room. Um, dude, I'm in another room today because, dude, my, I'm like screaming in the room, right? And Janice is sleeping. So, fuck. We, we out here now. Uh, last question. Mo asks, besides sickness, do you ever get up in the morning and say, fuck it, I ain't working today? Uh, yes, I do do that. But typically, it's only on the weekends I would do that. Um, I don't think I've taken a weekday off from zero work. No, not in years, man. Um, I do do it on like Sundays. Does that make sense? (laughs) Yeah. I just like, sometimes if I don't feel it, I just don't work. Um, but I, 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 I tend to do at least 30 minutes, you know, cause like, for example, today I had to send out a newsletter, which by the way, sign up for my newsletter, marketingletter.com down in the description. Um, find out my net worth, yada, yada, yada. How do you keep up yourself motivated even with very high success? Um, I wouldn't say it's very high yet. It's still trying to get better, but uh, motivation probably comes from a chip on my shoulder from like a traumatic childhood or something. I don't know, man. Um, just just really dialed in right now. Um, so that's it for the questions today. If you guys have any questions from the episode today, please drop them in the comment section below. Remember to comment Chrome extensions for SEO. See you guys tomorrow.